Hey guys, it's Renetta. Um, if you're new here, welcome back. Or well, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Um, I'm Renetta, I'm a senior this year and I'm studying exercise science on a pre-physical therapy track with a minor in human sexuality. I'm here with a friend today and we're in a new location. Hey guys, I'm Mohammed, AKA Mo Money, freshman here at KU studying business with a minor in sports management. So today we are reviewing one by one, what? One, one of one, one, one by one. Gunna. Yes. Um, as we can see, I am not a real Gunna fan and that's why we listen to the album. So it's 20 songs, 57 minutes, and it came out in May of last year. Or yeah. this year. May of this year. I personally liked one of one, um, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, clear, the, clear my reign, time reveals, be careful, what you wish for, college, Neck on a yacht. Collage. 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 Yep. Not a real fan. <laughs> um, neck on a yacht. What's up? Part of part of part of them. Proud of them. Proud of them. Proud of them. Yeah. Okay. Proud of them. On on one tonight and back in the A. Um, I personally liked the clean and noticeable switch up on the album um, after the um, after the song back in the A. Uh, it turned into a more chill vibe. Loved it. It was great. Not my favorite album by him, but we'll get into that later. Let's see what Mo likes. Okay, so for me, I went to the concert the day the album dropped. So my favorites are Let It Breathe, Neck on a Yacht, and On One Tonight. Hands down the best songs of the album. I mean, being a Gunna fan, like you appreciate every song regardless. So... I appreciate the whole album for sure, but like those are my top three favorites, and one of one is definitely like up there. But like it got overplayed so much this summer, because that was a song that that was the intro to the whole concert. Well, yeah, like the intro to the new album. So I was like, whoa, what is this? And then literally like two weeks later, it's played everywhere. But no, it did remind me, you know, brought me back to old Gunna, like mm -hmm. twenty. 2020 the one album just like the whole flow like gonna really flows on all of the songs and this brought it back to that time period so i appreciate that i love that um i i personally i give this album a six out of ten it's wow. that's not bad that's wow. not bad that's not bad <laughs> that is not bad because the album's not bad it's not great it's not what i wanted to hear but I'm also, it's also not my style and I'm also not a Gunna fan, but I appreciate it. Yeah. It wasn't a bad album. It just At wasn't all. for me. Um, but he ate. Did he make it in jail? I'm confused. I'm confused, but shout out to him. Is he in jail still? No, he's out. He's been out for oh. like okay. two summers now. Oh, so he got out because he snitched. He did not snitch though. Oh, okay. He did not snitch. I say he didn't snitch. Okay. The, the, the hair is going to say he snitched. <laughs> but no, I gave that album 8.9 out of 10. 8.9? You know, I'll give it a 9. A 9? I'll give it a 9. It was just a so tough. Good. Okay. Because, like, Gunna's, like I said, my favorite artist. And me finally going to, like, his concerts, mm -hmm. like, the day that album dropped just meant so much. So it was a 9 out of 10. The experience was amazing. Literally, like, I seen damn near everyone there. Like you're in the mosh pit. Oh Timmy, I see you. Shout out Timmy. Shout out Gutu. All the guys were there. It was a great time. Like Minnesota had a great time this summer. Album wise. Not album wise, but concert wise I meant to say. Concert wise. That's so fine. nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine that's out of 10. that's high. I feel like that's the highest rating album we've had that, that we've had. You think? For me, yeah. Oh wow. So good for you. I love that for you. Um, because I'm not a fan and I don't have much to say about this album, I do have a few music recommendations. Um, right now, I'm feeling Feel Good Inc. by Gorillaz. Yeah, it's basic from Gorillaz, period, but it's iconic. I don't know, it just, put, it just, it just hypes you up. It puts you in a great mood. I love it. And In the Morning by J. Cole. I've been That's listening to, one. it's a good one. That's a great one. I've been listening to it for the last two months. Um, really good. And I guess I'll say... Creep by Radiohead. Um, I love the guitar. It's been stuck in my head for all this week, really. Actually, for the last two weeks. I went on a trip last weekend, and I played it almost damn near the whole two-hour drive. Um, it's kind of sickening. It's so bad. Two hours? Two hours. Where'd you go? Um, I guess an hour and 30 minutes. I went to... Where did I go? I went to K-State for a seafood boil. I don't want to okay. talk about it, but it was so good. 
<laughs> what are your music recommendations? Song recommendations of Why Do Them Like That, West Side Gun. Okay. That's such a slept on artist. Very slept on. I wouldn't say he's like underground, but he did something new, like very new. So that Safe 2 by V's. All my V's fans, you know this is the time of year where this song is gonna be played out everywhere. It just gives you that intro to fall, really. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to listen. And Miss Independence, Skepta, if you don't know, it's a British UK artist, great song. It's, you know, it's appreciated so much. So those are my top three song recommendations. Mm -hmm. I got more on the way, but I can't can't spill everything now. Cannot spill everything. <laughs> um if you have an album you want us to review leave it down in the comments Let's do it. um don't forget to vote we're all we're all should be almost there to be able to vote this year get out there and vote your voice matters because they wouldn't be trying to suppress it um and see you next time bye see y'all where you go to college makes a statement about you this place will become a part of you your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Y'all, this my name is Ibriana, and I'm here with the Trini 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 Trini. Anyways, we are here to talk about the collapse that happened in October. So, first off, let me ask you something. What collab did y'all like the most? Before I bring them up, and I already know y'all know that I know that y'all know what I'm about to bring up. So, first one, we got Burger King. First off, who eats at Burger King? Like, let's, let's be honest here. Like, who is that Burger King? Like, what is that? Uh, not a fan. But let's discuss the Adams Family meal. So what comes on the meal is the Wendy's Whopper, the Thing Fries, Thing Rings, sorry. I don't eat there. It's nasty. Uh, but Thing Rings, crispy onion rings. Ooh, I might have to eat that. I don't know. I don't eat there, but they look good. The Gourmets, Gourmets. Churro fries. Oh, I like churros. I remember my friends would say I said Cheerios, like Cheerios for a long time. Ah, let's not get off this topic. But we have the chocolate shake. That look good. That that look I'm lying. That does not look good. I'm I'm lying. I'm sorry guys. I tried to be nice, but that looks terrible. But I haven't tried it, but I haven't heard anybody talk about it. So I feel like that would be a mm, five out of ten because I haven't seen nobody on social media talking about it and that burger looks nasty it looks like it makes me throw up and back then I used to like Whoppers but now I just mm. anyways next up the cookout we have Wendy's <sighs> Wendy's y'all had one job one job one job. Their collab for this month of October was with SpongeBob. And for this order with SpongeBob, they had a pineapple under the sea frosty, a Krabby Patty burger with a secret formula. What formula was in there? What formula? 
where's the drink? Like, honestly, where is the drink? Y'all remember the episode? Where's my drink? Like, that's, that was me when I looked at the menu. Like, where's the drink? Am I supposed to eat the Frosty and be like, ooh, that was tasty. Now, where's my drink? <laughs> like, but I had some friends who tried the meal. I had the Frosty, but I just didn't like it because it just tastes like syrup with vanilla frosting. And I like ice cream, and I don't play about my ice cream, so that kind of hurt my feelings. Anyways, next up we have the McDonald's Chicken Big Mac. Whew. Now when I tell you, I'm a fatty. This one right here <laughs> was a big W with Kaisenet. Whew. When I tasted it, I thought I was going to have a stream, a live stream for a minute, because the way that was tasting good, it was amazing. But... Out of all of them, my best one was the McDonald's Big Mac. So I would give that one a 10 out of 10. Wendy's, I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10. Just give us a drink next time and do better with the decorations. But tell us about your favorite meal from these three. And I hope it wasn't the Burger King one because <laughs> I will judge you. But thank you for coming with Ibrianna with the Trinity Trend Trend with the Trinity Trend Trends. Bye. Here we see an ordinary man on an ordinary day, when suddenly trash appears. What would you do if you were in his shoes? Would you be a bad citizen and simply ignore the trash? Or would you be a good citizen and pick the trash up? Here we see a trash can, a good citizen's greatest weapon. A good citizen will see litter, pick it up, and throw it away. Become a good citizen today. Okay, let's do this. Show that we like to call that's, that's hot. hot i'm ban rosie and i'm leah and this is a show where we talk about things that are happening in this world and we decide whether it's hot or it's not now we're going to be talking about first of all happy early ha halloween happy early halloween but we are going to be talking about some of the hottest costumes this year and what you are going to be seeing when you're going trick-or-treating or you're having fun this Halloween weekend. Whether you want to or not. Now, <clears throat> just to keep in mind, we will be talking about the ladies because the ladies do know how to put a, t a thing or two on. They mm -hmm. know how to pop out and show them. No offense to the men, but you know. Step up y'all game mm -hmm. and maybe y'all get a segment someday. Mm -hmm. Just saying. But... I think we should start off with this number one because I can't seem to get this out of my head. Can't get to seem this off of my TikTok page. You mean we're not gonna go three, two, one? We're just gonna no, go. Nah, cause the popular people, first. The people need to know what they gonna see. Uh oh, what's first on this list? Ladies and gentlemen, the number one. 
thing, the number one costume that you'll be seeing this Halloween is Disney princesses. Now, I will say, look at that video. Mm. Now, the ladies have been showing up in their little corsets and their skirts mm -hmm. and these corset, uh, these Disney princess videos, and they do look amazing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the thing is, is that a lot of people have been wearing it like, but he's original nowadays. I will say, I am guilty. I am going to be a Disney princess this Halloween. Which Disney princess are you going to be? Of course, I got to rep Miss Princess Tiana. The best princess. But, but we're not doing her stereotypical green dress like y'all just saw. We're not, we're not even going to do her blue dress. I want to bring it back to the beginning of the movie. Okay. And I want to wear her yellow waitress, you know, that little dress when oh. she's working at Duke's, trying to get her money for that restaurant. You working as a working girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I see you. Get yes, me. Mm -hmm. But if you out this whole weekend and you want to pick yourself up a pretty little princess fit, just know that you won't be the only one. I just want to know who would you be if you had to dress up as a Disney princess? Now that's a good question. I'm gonna have to think about that one real quick. Don't think okay. too hard. Don't think too hard. Okay, don't do too much on me. I'm honestly gonna have to be Sleeping Beauty. Oh, okay. The dress is so cute, mm. and I could just have like a pink little af not pink, a blonde little afro or mm -hmm. something, and a little crown. I was gonna say pink or blue dress. Oh my goodness, she does have both. I feel yeah. like she's more known for her pink, so yeah. I will have to wear that one. Yeah, fair enough, fair mm -hmm. enough. But either way, y'all princesses will look lovely this weekend. Mm -hmm. But let's get on to number two, shall we? Yes, ma'am. What we got next on this list? So number two is going to be Teen Titans. Uh oh. Now no. we've seen Teen Titans for the past five years. The show is iconic. Oof. But the ladies, they love themselves a little Raven costume, mm -hmm. and as you see, they love themselves a little Starfire this year. Mm -hmm. And as recently, I saw Megan Thee Stallion just post that she. Uh Oh, Star the Stallion. interesting. And that was like three minutes ago. So, oh. yeah. Now, I will say, I'm going to put myself out there a little bit. I have to admit, I have never seen a single episode of Teen Titans. Teen Titans Go, the original, whatever. Because I know they got multiple. Don't, don't give me that look. Don't give me that look. You've been living under a rock? <sighs> I just didn't grow up that way, okay? I grew up. You have no taste? No culture. Anyways, I'm a Disney girl. I'm a Nickelodeon girl. And you didn't watch Cartoon Network? Like No, they I didn't. What kind of person are you? You know what? Let me know. Moving on, moving we're on. Gonna, uh, that's going to start a fight. Anyways, mm -hmm. so number three, which we've been seeing from the males and the women's side. So mm -hmm. males, these are a few ideas if you, if you guys have a trio. But I've been seeing... Alvin and the Chipmunks. Mm, I don't know. I might have to steal that idea. I mean, I need to get me two other friends and we can just have our own little choreography done. Mm -hmm. Boom, we just have that already ready to go. Mm -hmm. And it's such an easy costume. Right? Get a red hoodie, put a little A on it, mm -hmm. and get your other ones to get the blue and the green. Now, now, let's be real. Mm. Which of the three would you be? Honestly, I related a lot to Simon when I was growing up. Mm. I'm not going to even lie okay, to you. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But Theodore, Theodore has my heart. Mm -hmm. Can't be Alvin, mm -hmm. though. Too arrogant. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. What about you? Let's see. I'm definitely a Theodore. I'm just like, I'm there for comedic relief, y'all. <laughs> hey, I know what we gonna be next year. Mm -hmm. hey. Count it. Now we just need to find our outfit. Hey, if you guys wanna be, just let us know in the comments. Shoot. I want y'all to send me some of your best Halloween costumes this Halloween and this Halloween weekend. Cause we need to know if it's hot or if it's not. And who knows, if it is hot, we might be able to post you guys mm -hmm. on our Melanin Media page. So please keep in mind. But we're going to mention, we're going to have a few honorable mentions because mm -hmm. there's a few that we've been seeing that yeah, are kind of yeah. cool, they're kind of cute. Mm -hmm. So a few honorable mentions is going to have to be, honestly, I've been seeing SpongeBob and mm -hmm. Patrick. That's mm -hmm. a cute little duo. And honestly, the fit is real easy. All you got to do is get some shorts, a yellow shirt, and some. I don't know. Looking at the SpongeBob costume, though, 
I'm just wondering, how did she get those shorts to match? Because, oh my God, look at the detail. The detail is immaculate. Mm -hmm. I mean, the amount of effort that you put into your costume, go ahead and do what you need to do. Shoot, I know that's right. And I'm thinking the second honorable mention that I'm surprised I'm seeing nowadays is Monsters, Inc. I've been mm -hmm. seeing Boo and freaking Sully, and I'm just like, okay, we bring it back to Disney now, classics. Now, I will have to say, I stole this idea from my co-worker. Shout out to you, girly. <laughs> really? Is she going to be uh, people from Monsters, Inc.? I think she's going to be Boo. No way. That is so cute. Her and her little friend. Oh, my God. I wish I would have thought of that idea because, oh, I love that movie. That movie had me on a Ring here. Oh my gosh. I know that costume is going to be comfy as well. Mm hmm. Anyways, but that's all. That's what's all going to be for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to a segment that we like to call That's, that's Hot. Hot. You have a good night, Jayhawks. Bye. Bye. champions deserve a clean campus. Don't wait for other Jayhawks to pick up your mess. Keep the University of Kansas clean. Hello everyone and welcome back to Melon Media Slice of Insight where we'll be leaving you with food for thought from black history. I'm Daylin. And I'm Nalia. Did you know that Adela Thomas founded the NAACP Image Awards? Thomas, most notably known as Tony Vaz was born in New York in 1922. In 1948, Thomas started her career modeling with Brandford Modeling Agency. After three years, she began working as an actor. She made her first appearance in 1959's Tarzan the Ape as man, as an extra. Soon, she had roles in Anna Lucas Da and The Singing Nun. Then she transitioned into more stunt work. Thomas became a double for Cicely Tyson in Mission, in Mission Impossible's TP series. It's like the stunt work in over 50 films and TV shows due to the lack of diversity within the industry she joined the NAACP's Hollywood branch. Frustrated with the stereotypical roles given to black actors, she wanted to create an award ceremony to spotlight and elevate the work of black entertainers. By 1967, she held her first NAACP CP Image Awards. The show became an annual and nationally televised event. She called the Image Awards because she wanted a better image for the people who worked in the industry. Although she spearheaded the project by, her, by herself, others received her credit. In 2019, by 2021, she finally received a recognition with the Founders Award, leaving behind the lasting legacy of the NACA CP Awards. Miss Fast has passed as 101. She'll be honored with the start on the Hollywood Walk of Fame next year. James M. Jeter is the first black creator, creative director for Ralph Lauren. After graduating from Morehouse College in 2013, Jeter took on an internship with Ralph Lauren. Following the death of George Floyd in protests in 2020, founder Ralph Lauren asked Jeter how he was doing. He, asked, he answered honestly, and he raised the question, will the company remain all white? Four years later, Jeter made history becoming the first black creative director of Ralph Lauren. Following his lead in 2022, Jeter and colleague Dara Douglas designed a collection called the Morehouse and Spellman Collection. The collection aimed to reflect the imagery of higher education and its influence on clothing for black people. It was Ralph Lauren's first campaign curated by an all-black creative team and cast Jeter ch and cast. Jeter challenged the brand's aspirational image that has historically been associated with Ivy League and sort of white American culture. He found inspiration from the 1930s and 1950s. To continue following his ventures, follow him at James M. Jeter on Instagram. Malvin Russell Good was the first African-American news correspondent for a major television network. Goot was born in 1908 in Virginia after graduation, graduating from the University of Pittsburgh. He worked a number of jobs for becoming a journalist in 1948. He began working for the Pittsburgh Courier, one of the two largest black newspapers in the United States. In the following year, he became a radio broadcaster for Pittsburgh's AM radio station KQV, doing 15-minute news good shows. Goot also worked for WHOD television station where he anchored a five-minute daily news show and was named the, and named the station the news director in 1952. 
While there, Goop became the first African member of the National Association of Radio and Television News Director. In 1962, he was hired by ABC Television News to be its United Nations reporter in New York City. This made him the first black news correspondent for a major television network. The position was created when former baseball player Jackie Robinson publicly complained to ABC News executives about the lack of black reporters. Good was hired over 40, has hired over 40 other candidates. He reported important stories, including the 1965 assassination of Malcolm X, the 1968 assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and both the Democratic and Republican national conventions in 1968. Good re remained with ABC until his retirement in 1973. Meta Warwick Fuller was an artist who specialized in sculpture. Fuller was born in 1877 in Pennsylvania. In 1897, she attended Pennsylvania Museum School of Industrial Arts before traveling around to study in Paris in 1899. While studying for drawing, she met Auguste Rodin. His encouragement pushed Fuller to exhibit her art at Samuel Bing's gallery in Paris in 1900. After she returned to Pennsylvania in 1910, she created her signature piece, Ethiopia Awakening. This piece exemplifies a determination to shatter Africa's association with slavery and ignorance. When Fuller created this piece, Ethiopia, Ethiopia was the only African nation to successfully maintain its independence against European imperialists. Fuller created the piece as a historical validation and celebration of Africans in their connection to African Americans. In the 1950s, Fuller retired from her work to care for herself and her husband. In the 1960s, she returned to sculpture, creating tributes to the civil rights movement until her passing. Thank you for tuning in to Slice of Insight, guys. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Mellon Media KU to keep up with us and find more content from the show. Have a great week, Jayhawks. Thank you.